Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And I've got a good one for you today because we are seeing banks cut credit cards and credit lines like there's no tomorrow. And uh, it's just the beginning. Please take a second. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And uh, today we have a sponsor, Patriot Gold, which I will talk about a little bit later. But uh, first things first, guys. I got sent this story out of the UK, and this is a very familiar thing that we're having happen here in the States, and that is Barclay Card, Barclay Bank is coming out and they are slashing people's credit lines by as much as 99% right now. No reason, and you know, the, uh, the people that they did this to, the first one is a financial blogger, uh, and he runs a site called This Is Money, and they did it to him where they cut his credit line uh, from $25,000 down to $250 uh, for a credit card. And he said, what can I do with $250? I can't, I can't buy anything, I can't book an airline flight. And by the way, that's pounds over there, so 250 pounds, excuse me, is what they cut it to. But as this person reached out, there were all these other people that had these credit lines cut. And it was just a substantial amount of people that had $11,000 cut down to 500. And there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's not like everybody got $250. They just start slashing credit lines. Now, here's the thing. We're seeing this here in the States as well. You're seeing it with Chase Bank. You're seeing it with uh, Bank of America. Uh, Wells Fargo is doing this. And then you're seeing the people that are like, hey, I, I you know, don't know what's going on, Dan, but they just raised my credit limit by $5,000. So it's odd because most of the people that are getting their credit lines cut right now are the people that have never been late on a bill ever. So it's very odd to say the least. So these people in uh, the UK with Barclay card, get used to this guys, because it's gonna happen more and more and more and more. So the frustrating thing about this is that they've put together a group of people to compare notes. They've asked the bank to reconsider. The most that the bank will reconsider for is giving them another $250. No one's getting their credit line raised to what it was before. And uh, every time I'm in a bank and I have somebody of authority, other than the, the teller, oh, you'd have to ask the manager, I ask them, you know, are you seeing credit lines cut? Are you seeing ATM limits cut? And uh, it's funny, it's nice to be me sometimes because uh, I, I walked into a bank today and uh, hey, what can we do for you today? Dan, hello. And he just said, oh, I need to get some cash. Okay, great. And uh, he circles around and I wait and there's somebody in front of me at line, the next person, he walks up to the teller and he goes, don't ask him what the money's for. Don't, don't, don't just, just give him whatever he wants. And, uh, and I heard him and I thought that was kind of funny because what it was gonna be was, well, it's none of your business and he knows I would have lost it because he watches the channel. But my point is, is that I was gonna go out and buy uh, uh, auto parts uh, for the Volkswagen and uh, I got two calls from two different silver suppliers that are like, hey, we've got a bunch of inventory, come in and uh, bring cash. So you got it. So that's why you bring cash in for stuff like that. But it's funny that the bank did that. The other thing that's funny is, uh, I told you the story about the Prius, how the uh, 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 the catalytic converter was vandalized and they stole it and they damaged the car. Well, one shop that got it was like, hey, I can fix this. I can fix this car quickly. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then they called me with the bad news and they said, listen, uh, Toyota is saying that it's gonna be uh, six to eight months to get the catalytic converter. Who would wait for that? Seriously, if someone told you that, who would go, oh, okay, that sounds about right. I'll wait six months to get my car back from the shop. And he's like, I'm not gonna do that to you, buddy. I found this car, uh, this part, and they're gonna ship it to me overnight, and you're gonna have it within uh, a day. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll believe that when I see it. And sure enough, the guy got the car done in a day. So again, it's very nice to be Dan sometime. But, when you go through these banks and you see everything that's happening with these banks right now, they're cutting credit lines. They're not allowing cash. A lot of famous YouTubers out there that are sharing their stories about how they're going out and trying to uh, uh, take cash out of the bank and they're just being denied access to cash. $6,000, $8,000, $10,000. People are being told to wait. 
uh, two and three weeks to get money. Come back in two weeks. What are you kidding me? How about two hours? I come back in two weeks. Is that insane? One other thing with the credit cards that we're seeing is we're seeing the lines get cut. We're seeing credit uh, cards get shut off completely. Janetta sent me uh, letters from uh, Comity Bank, and I'll leave these up here for you, where five of her inactive cards, because again, not being a debt hound and being a, a savvy business person, never being laid in a bill, they rewarded her by shutting off these charge cards. Now, K Jewelers, uh, uh, what was the other one? A Bed Bath & Beyond, well, they're going out of business, so that's okay. But uh, uh, Victoria's Secret, they're still in business, but she's not using the card in a normal fashion like she used to. So with that, they decided to just uh, cut it off and that's the end of that. So you're seeing this more and more and more and more. It's happening all the time right now. You have to plan your finances out better to make sure that you have access to this money. You have to. You have to do that with everything. All of your credit lines, everything that you can, make sure that you are in communication with the bank. And if you have an existing credit card that you're not using, charge 10 bucks on it. You know, you did the right thing by paying things off. And I've told everybody this time and again, but you need to go out and do yourself a favor and make sure that you're not gonna be caught uh, holding the bag and having no credit. Because you've gotta have some credit, you should, and uh, you've gotta have uh, access to money and to a bank. And so many people right now are not uh, uh, doing that. Now, the one woman that had eight banks, I mean, that's kind of a lot, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. These poor people in the UK that are just, you know, there's no excuse. What Barclay card came back and said, here's the reason. With the changing global economic environment, we are protecting ourselves. Now, these are all people, every single one of these people in these Facebook groups that talked about that, have never been laid on one bill, not, not once. So these are not the debt hounds. These are not the people that, that owe $9,000 and $10,000 credit line or 10,000 pound credit line. These are the people that don't owe anybody anything. And that's how they're being rewarded by this bank. So get ready, get ready guys. You know, I get people that uh, tell me I'm stupid. They don't know the difference between the debt ceiling and funding the government. Well, here's the thing guys that I do know. If you believe that there was any shred of credibility with uh, uh, our government right now, they would be resolving this. They'd be resolving everything. You know, we wouldn't have, you know, uh, uh, you know a turnstile at our border. We wouldn't have uh, our banks, uh, you know, uh, be in this debacle right now. That's the other thing, is all these different mid-sized banks, what are they doing right now? Here's a great story that's below for you. Talking about mergers. Hey, if we merge more banks, this will be a good thing for the customers. They'll have more strength. No, guys, it's, it's an absolute 100% lie. All of these banks are are lying right now. And, and again, I had a memorized uh, earlier, but now I'm angry about thinking about this. The stories below, you can see how the regulators, certain banks that were going to merge, uh, they pulled back from having the merger because we don't know if this is going to fly. We don't know if the regulators are going to are going to authorize this. The regulators recommended two of these banks merge, and, and they didn't. And now they're uh, on the verge of going out of business. And again, that, that's comforting to know. You're going to see this happen more and more with businesses globally. I don't care what country you're in right now, you're gonna see more supermarkets that are gonna merge. You're gonna see more uh, uh, manufacturing companies are gonna merge, more trucking companies. Everything that we buy, you're going to see them come together. It's like HBO right now. HBO, Cinemax, HBO Max, they're all going under one umbrella right now. Huh, isn't that interesting? Okay, why is that? Because it's survival, guys. You know, uh, this is gonna be towards the end. Cutting uh, the cord for cable right now. Think about this, in the first quarter of the year, I, I forgot to tell you guys, there's two things that are good. There's Tubi, okay, and there's Pluto TV, which are apps that you can get that have free TV, that have hundreds of channels on it, and they're absolutely free. You can get a fire stick for your TV, and if you have internet, you can watch all these free channels and free movies, and one of them's got a James Bond channel, so it's 24 seven James Bond movies. I mean, it's crazy, but it's free. Pluto TV and Tubi, okay? And, and a movie that I wrote was on one of those recently, so anyways. 
48 million people cut the cord in the first quarter of, uh, of the year. Why is that? They had a better deal? No, they're broke. People are, are taking some financial responsibility where they're sitting down and saying, we gotta cut back. What can we cut back on? That's what they're doing. They're cutting back on this right now. Cable, everything. There's a lot more to cover. Just walking down to the water. The beach is loud today. It's peaceful. Let's talk about our sponsor, Patriot Gold Group. You need to take matters into your own hands when it comes to your future and your retirement. The best thing that you can do is get an IRA or 401k that's backed by physical metals. Physical metals have been called a safe haven investment for centuries. And you need to look at uh, Patriot Gold to help you with this. Call them today at 888-330-1431 and get a free investor guide absolutely no obligation they will answer all your questions do what so many people from i allegedly have already done and they've taken advantage of this and they have the best in class service number one rated for seven years in a row now guys call them today do what central banks are doing they are buying gold at a record pace right now you need to look at your retirement you need to protect yourself even if you have an existing IRA or 401k, they can transfer it with no tax liability and show you how that's done. Look at Patriot Gold today, 888-330-1431 before it's too late. I always love the stuff you guys send me, and uh, lately it's just been solid gold that I get to share with everybody else. Heather sent me one of those financing offers where they send you a check, and with the check, you know, and so by the way, on the back, there's the financial terms of what the loan would be, and it was 71% if you cash this check. And she said, Dan, how many people get these checks and say, yeah, I'm gonna do this, okay, let me take it. Now, my favorite used to be the uh, checks that they would send you with the credit cards. Remember those? You'd get your credit card, your new card, and let's say you had a $10,000 limit, they'd send you checks. And uh, my favorite back in the day when I was broke was I owed about $6,000 on a card and they sent pre-written checks to my name of $2,000 a piece. And I go, gosh, I wonder if all these are gonna go through. And uh, sure enough, <laughs> they went through and uh, I owed the money for that. So it was uh, quite the uh, experience, okay? So these say they were upset, and I was like, why are you guys upset? You, you sent me the checks, the checks were no good. No, the checks were good, but you weren't supposed to cash all of them. So anyways, that got worked out. My favorite was in 1993, I was in an office building, and it was an executive suite where they had central mail dropped off for everybody in the building. And on Saturdays, the postman, because he was so brilliant, would leave the mail out. Now, back in the 90s, they would send those checks out. There were over a dozen people that were victims of identity theft before we even knew what identity theft was. And they took those checks and wrote themselves checks. And the checks were cashed, check cashing places, things like that. And it was just crazy one thing after another. And people were upside down. And one guy had like $6,000 written against him, which I thought was horrible. And, uh, but that happened. So look at those things. Don't accept that stuff, guys. It's crazy. Uh, Joseph sent me a great uh, notice about short sellers and how Jamie Dimon says that we've got to stop all these short sellers right now, uh, that they're ruining the market and that uh, they have no credibility and they're destroying uh, uh, the stock market. Uh, no, 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 no. The only real reason why you'd be concerned about that is that the people that are betting against you are, are gonna do well. And once again, the people that are betting against the banks right now, if you if you wanna gamble, do you think banks are gonna do well? I think banks in the next 30 days are gonna go do well. You know, Bob Kudlow, when he was on last week, was talking about how bad it's going to be and how these banks are going to have a really severe downturn. And then you read these stories, like the one I just talked about, where you've got these banks trying to merge, trying to survive, and Jamie Dimon, man, the guy's in the news every day now. If you notice that, Jamie Dimon just can't get out of his own way. But, you know, remember, he may run for president, too. 
which every time I tell anybody that, they're like laugh. They're like, that guy thinks he's, you know, gonna be president of the United States. It's insane. So. Oh, here's one that infuriated me. I hate extra charges on checks and bills and, you know, uh, when you go out to dinner, hot Lola. Sean sent me this, his hot Lola um, receipt. You know, he bought wings, he bought drink, light light meal. They charged him 4% for employee uh, benefits. Okay, isn't that nice? 4% for the employee welfare. Is that is that ridiculous, guys? Why? I'm not gonna pay that. Okay, I'll give you the 4%, but I'm not gonna tip. Again, we talked about tipping recently. When do you cut it off? When do you sit there and say, I'm not gonna do this, I'm not gonna be part of this. So, employee wellness. You should ask, uh, we should go to Hot Lola and find out if the employees have wellness, if, they're, if their programs are good and if the company takes care of them or not, because I doubt that they do. I bet you there'd be a few people that would argue that Hot Lola is not doing well and that it's awful. So share your thoughts on this stuff so far. It's funny, people are trying to buy things like cars right now, and some models, Hondas and, and Toyotas, are not available, just completely backlogged and backordered, and uh, you know, people are trying to get these financing deals, the dealerships are offering things that aren't available. In other words, here's special financing, oh, but we don't have that car. And then you have other dealerships that are completely uh, loaded to the gills with car. They say that right now that there's 53 days worth of inventory uh, and it's double what it was a year ago. Which again, does that mean selling cars every day and you liquidate the cars, but there's 53 days worth of uh, inventory right now in the car industry in the United States. So once again, people cannot afford the new cars that are out there. They cannot afford the payments. They cannot afford the interest rates. There's no special deal right now. Things are going up right now and what we saw a year ago when people were getting rid of those cars those are those days are long gone guys and i have cars we're trying to unload right now and we can't give them away right now because of that and once again the the prius that had the uh catalytic converter uh stolen off of it i thought for sure they were going to total the car and now they're going to fix it so who knew okay cindy sent me a great picture of an escalade how much is a uh, your GMC Cadillac Escalade? How much? Well, this one that she sent me, look at that. $206,000, peasant. Like that, I mean, I would keep the price tag on it if I drove that car just so that people would know how stupid I was and that my car was $206,000. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it, I don't get it, I don't get it. Do you need a $206,000 Escalade? And who would know that? Because if I had to play a game, where uh, I had to tell you how much an Escalade was, I sure as heck wouldn't say it was $206,000. So there's that. There is a man in Africa who bought a Ferrari with Bitcoin and they outlawed cryptocurrencies for certain purchases in 2017. And this guy's in huge trouble. So much so that he's going to jail for buying a Ferrari legally with Bitcoin. They're, they arrested him and he's you know been tried and convicted and can't work it out and uh, a real mess. And so is the dealership that took the money too. So kind of fascinating. So, um, okay, it's not, you know, it's not good everywhere when it comes to the uh, Bitcoin and stuff like that. But what else are you seeing out there that's outrageous in price? Are you seeing cars go through the roof right now? I, I just I just cannot believe the prices that they're charging for this stuff. And, and last week, the videos I got sent, TikToks I keep getting sent are, how the, the really inexpensive cars, people finance cars for under $5,000, some with hundreds of thousands of miles on them, and they're being uh, repossessed right now. And, uh, you know, it's crazy. What we're living through is a very dark time. Canada uh, is in a recession right now, but it's not a regular recession, it's a per capita recession. So don't worry about it, it's just a per capita recession. Huh? We're in a recession right now, guys. We are in a recession right now. I have another story below where an expert says, we'll be in a recession in April, 2024. Okay, what this is right now, what we're experiencing right now is just fantasy land. 
then it's all good. But a per capita recession, you can call it anything you want because two down quarters of GDP growth and uh, sure enough, they're in a recession guys, right now in Canada. But it's a per capita recession, guys. It's not, it's not a bad recession. It's a per capita recession. Read it. Read the story. It's, it's, they, they define what a recession is in the first paragraph, and that's what they're in. Okay, so we're in a recession. Mexico was in a recession recently. What are we going to do? What are you going to just sit there and call it something else? Your bank is not failing. It's just uh, reorganizing. You know what I mean? Something stupid. This is ridiculous that we're living through these times where where you can't call things what they are. So let me know what you think about that. Now, an economic downturn could cause banks to fail. We could see commercial loans fail at a rate of 15% right now. Hmm, that's bad. It's a, it's a high number. Uh, have another story where it could be as high as 8%. Either way, we could lose a trillion dollars in economic value in the markets and in the value of businesses and with all this negative funding that's going to happen, it could be nothing, nothing good can come out of this. Zillow, 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 Zillow is stepping forward and they're saying, hey, um, yeah, we could see home prices drop another 8% and we could definitely see um, uh, real estate loans, you know, go above uh, 8% as well. Yes, without a doubt. And here, here's the thing, guys. How come when they talk about auto financing you know, they talk about home loans, why doesn't everybody get those rates? Because of everybody's personal situation. It's that simple. I don't have to wait for you to think about it. It's ridiculous to think about this. <sighs> to sit there and think that the bank's just going to lend everybody at some 3% rate is ludicrous. It's not going to happen. And yes, we're seeing a ton of cash purchases. I did a story with 30% of all the real estate deals that were done over the course of uh, you know the last year with 30% of them were cash, which is wild. And uh, you know that was as of the last quarter, so it'll be interesting to see what happens from the next one. But uh, you know when you when you hear these figures, this should make you concerned. It makes me concerned. And uh, Zillow, Zillow, remember, everything's gonna go up. We're gonna see home prices shoot up for another, uh, you know, 3%, 5%, um, you know. Uh, the IRS is back to collecting right now. So when uh, COVID hit, and in March of 2020, they gave us a reprieve on certain tax collection uh, practices, okay? So they didn't come after people. Well come next week it's foot on the gas babies they're coming after you so you're going to get a balance due notice if you are owed if you owe the irs money and uh they're going to start collection activity you know immediately so all those new people that they hired plus uh uh letter writing and everything that they're going to do expect a more aggressive approach to collect their money right now so that's that's crazy that's going to happen I always love the letters you guys send me and I get a lot of people that are like, don't use my name, don't say what area of the country I'm in. I get it, guys. I mean, because, you know, it's like you're talking about the oil industry and your name is, you know, Vincent. It's only obvious who that person is. I get it. But this one guy wrote me two months ago and we talked about this, this extensively where he said, here's the questions he asked all his credit unions and his banks. You know, the financial viability, the outstanding loads, total deposits, what you guys have on hand. And he had that laundry list of questions. Well, he sent me back from uh, one of the credit unions. They line itemed it and they, they responded to this. Take a look at this, guys. This is incredible. But the point is, is that Earthmover Credit Union, that's, that's somebody I'd want to put my money into because they're not shying away from any of this stuff. Who does that? No one does that right now. So, you know. Share your thoughts on that. Don't forget that you can sign up for Christmas in May. The link is below, Christmas in May. We're giving away over $10,000 worth of uh, uh, prizes. It's all free. Got to fill everything out. You got to get your name and contact information in case you win. I don't care where you live around the globe. You can win some very cool stuff from gold, silver, VPN for free, uh, gift cards, a little bit of everything, guys. So sign up for it today um jim sent me a great thing from bauer financial talk about how you can rate the banks 
and you put your financial institution that gives you a rating for that, which is very cool. I'm gonna finish the video with these last two stories. And the first one is Johnny Depp. He's had quite the year, but he just signed a deal to be the spokesman for Dior for $20 million. So Johnny Depp's not hurting these days. And then the final story, John. John invented a drinking game for the channel. Okay, whether you drink alcohol or not, it's, it's, it's up to you, okay? Do it responsibly. But John came up with kind of an irresponsible game, the I allegedly drinking game. The rules for the game, to start the game, drink when Dan says, I've got a good one for you. Drink whenever Dan says any of the following statements. Tell me what you think, guys. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Share your thoughts on this. But man, oh man, that's another good one. It's just nuts. So there's that. Do you listen to this stuff, guys? Okay. So, if, if you get a bonus drink, if I say Hells Fargo, Ass Clown, or anytime Dan trips or gets wet. Okay, that was the last video. I got tripped and got wet. So to end the game, you stop drinking when I say onward and upward. So, what do you think, guys? I think that's a pretty good game. Um, you'll have to invite me over, John, sometime. We'll have to play that. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And onward and upward. Game is over with. Okay? See you guys soon.